She is back at home, released with no charge and no conditions. Mon al Kurd was detained early Sunday morning when Israeli police raided her family home. Her twin brother Mohammed, who wasn't there at the time, was served a notice to present himself to the police station in occupied East Jerusalem. This is intimidation, nothing more, because they know on June 8th, Israel's attorney general will issue his opinion, so they want to intimidate the residents of this neighborhood. These are the policies of the occupation, intimidation and fear. Why did they close our road? Because we made our voices heard. She became the symbol of their plight as she documented everyday life in the neighborhood. The Kurd family has already lost part of their property. A Jewish settler, originally from Brooklyn, New York, lives behind those wooden panels. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No. A conversation between him and Mona went viral. Several other properties on the same street were taken over by settlers. Mona and her brother were taken to this police station in occupied East Jerusalem, where just a day before, Al Jazeera correspondent Javara Buderi was also being interrogated. Buderi was covering a protest in solidarity of the families in Sheikh Jarrah and Silwan who could lose their homes without being given substitute housing. She was close to Mon Al-Kurt's home when she was overpowered, handcuffed and dragged by Israeli soldiers. Buderi's left arm was fractured during the violent arrest. What I'm seeing now on the ground after all these years, this time, after all these years, this is the first time we see this uh, unbelievable uh, treating towards journalists and especially towards Al Jazeera after covering all what happened in Bab al-Amud, in Sheikh Jarrah, in Al-Aqsa Mosque, in Gaza especially. Uh, but um, they, they want the camera to be broken as they broke it yesterday with my colleague uh, Nabil Mazawi. They wanted the microphone to be on the ground but we are telling them that the microphone and the camera will stay and we will continue. Nothing will stop us. Nothing. We face more than this and we will continue. Israeli police and army have so far been heavy-handed with both journalists and those voicing their solidarity for Palestinians facing forceful evictions. This was the scene outside the police station as Mona's father was talking to journalists. The street where she lives has seen many crackdowns. Despite it all, Mona's voice has become a difficult one to silence. Hodad al-Hamid, Al Jazeera, in occupied East Jerusalem.